you want to see how far over my hip hangs on this center console in my car because it's a lot. Oh my god. Can you imagine making a video like this and then thinking that this, this is some kind of flex? That your hip hangs over the center console so much because you're so massively obese? This is Bo Berry, I believe. And if you guys don't know anything about Bo Berry, then there was like a transitional period in her life where I guess she was making kink content. And a lot of people loved that she was very, very overweight or obese, I guess. So she was like, let me just try to do this more. Let me really put all my eggs in this basket which by the way the basket is literally obesity which is unsustainable and like, literally a death sentence but regardless she decided that she was gonna gain weight and the highest i've ever seen her at was like over 600 pounds like 640 pounds like she was actually trying to gain weight she did a whole series where she was trying to put on weight and she did she gained a lot of it and i really hope that she made a lot of money from doing that because can you imagine literally taking literal decades off your life i'm not exaggerating on that one it might just be like a decade but even still like a decade off your life for how much money i don't know and also it's really deplorable work i get like don't get me wrong i know that there are probably people right now beating off to me and that's probably okay with me like i have no problem with you or somebody else beating off to my face or like my luxurious arms or whatever but i think that if you're doing it purposely with the intention of other people beating off I, it's not the worst like I'm, to I'm totally fine with sex play I'm totally fine with like prostitution or like you know making money through the internet when it comes to selling vagina pictures and stuff like that I'm totally fine with that but doing it this way just kind of seems terrible like making yourself literally unhealthy just to get guys on the internet to beat off to you and send you money and then watch you eat copious amounts of food to me it just seems a little bit kind of terrible awful and really really um unsustainable in terms of the life expectancy but i guess you know what queen totally respect i mean you, you, you're definitely overhanging on the center console so i'll give her that she is overhanging on it and it's not something i would brag about but because it's a lot <laughs> big dude big as fuck this is like an suv too you can't drive when you weigh this much there's no way like your foot has got to be like 80 pounds alone dude and if you're hitting that gas pedal how you gonna lift up your leg you gotta like purposely lift up your leg with your own hands to try to get it off the pedal right there's no way this woman's doing anything and you know what i've heard fat people before say oh my god fat phobia exists because guess what when i go on ride sharing apps so like uber or lyft they don't have seatbelt extenders therefore they are fat phobic this is unsustainable this is not right for people in our society to have to deal with these problems and i always think if you know that you're so fat that you're not going to be able to appropriately buckle yourself in in somebody else's automobile why the fuck don't you already pack your own seatbelt extender do you know how ridiculous it is for somebody to get into a car and not be able to sit in that seat with the seatbelt fully extended that's crazy so if you know that you're so big that most cars are not going to have enough slack for you go on amazon and buy a seatbelt extender i don't know what else to tell you than that it's it's even crazy that you even have that option to begin with though like for me if i didn't fit in the seatbelt dude i'm losing weight that's the wake-up call for me like you know that one girl on you that one girl on tiktok that got cancer from being so overweight so obese she literally said what's her name i forgot her name but she literally said that she was so fat that when she sat down in the toilet to bust it down she couldn't even appropriately wipe herself or was not able to wipe herself in general so what she had to do was shimmy over like can you imagine dusty cracked up butt cheeks crusty you know a whole bunch of uh you know amoebas growing in there she had to shuffle her way over to the tub which was already stressful for her because she had one of those tubs that you have to lift your leg over into and had to spread cheeks and have the water like it, it was basically like a giant bidet because like a regular bidet didn't even fit into the the toilet because her butt cheeks were so big that they were actually like apexing the inside of the the toilet th itself like i think she said her butt cheeks were actually glazing the water a little bit which is crazy because i have that same issue sometimes where if i sit down in the toilet and i'm a little bit you know i i, I have talked about this before I do have a condition i have a big giant massive megalodon meat and sometimes when i sit down on the toilet i do have the occasional my dick touch the water type shit and that's not always the best obviously naturally but i do obviously wash my toilet and here's the thing i'm not always okay 
I'm never taking shits out in public. All right, that's one thing that I feel like this is David Lore 101 here. I've never taken a shit outside of my personal toilet ever. And I'm going to live by that because, like, I know a lot of people that have taken shits and have people, like, expose them for taking shits out in public. And it's it's a thing that happens consistently. I'm already stressed out when I, when I, drop, when I drop my pants and I start taking piss out in public because sometimes, because I do possess a massive schlong, I've had men before try to glaze my, try to look upon my, my meat, and it's just kind of uncomfortable. Like, I understand that you have never seen something like this before, but simultaneously, dude, hop off me, dude. Like, come on. So, for me, I'm never going to drop my, my, my pants and take a shit in a, in a public place, but for you, if that's what you want to do, that's that's up to you. If you're dirty. No, I'm fuck with you. You may, Maybe you're not dirty, but I like for me personally, it's never going to be a thing, so I never have to worry about dipping my dick, like, you know, stirring up the public toilet or whatever so yeah anyway this is the armrest crazy for my damn damn you're big bro the arm damn bro what do you got like an extra four or five inches on the side there bro jeez man obviously but she's doing this on purpose like she knows that people damn bro sheesh like if you just painted your skin black here and told me this was a North Face, I would probably go, oh, okay, that's a pretty nice jacket. I remember when I was a kid, my mom bought me this, like, like 7X. I was, like, in 6th or 7th grade, and North Faces were, like, super, super big at the time. And I was like, Mom, I got to get this North Face. But North Faces were really expensive. So my mom found one one day, and they were on sale, but none of them were in my size because I'm in a small, right? Even at that time, I was probably in, like, something more smaller. But even a small at that time would have been probably a little bit too big for me. So... My mom got me uh, like a 3X or a 4X. It was massive. It's act I still have the coat. It's massive. And I remember like it was very, very comforting, but I wore it like I was an Eskimo or like I was a pilgrim or something like that. It came down to like my ankles. It was massive. Dude. I look like a matryoshka. But um, the point I'm making is it was very like it had a big sleeve, you know, big, big puffy sleeves. And this is what that looks like. You have literally the body of a north face jacket on you that's an issue you should not be having that shit you have more weight on your hand than most people have in their thighs that's an issue you got to adjust your lifestyle if this is something you're just gonna have <laughs> not functional because i have all of this you don't have to i don't think it's sexy to be honest like i don't know why so many people I don't know. I get that we have different kinks and people like different things. Like, in the same way that you like chocolate pudding, I might like orange juice, right? Like, I get it. But when I look at people of that size, I'm looking like, dude, what are you really even attracted to at that point, dude? That's crazy, man. This is absolutely, like, death personified and you're over here beating off to that? I'm not judging you, but I'm judging you, dude. Whoa. Like, we couldn't find anything better to beat off to, dude. I get it. Like, we all find ourselves on that one weird porn website thinking, like, this shit look good. But then you go afterwards, like, what did I do? What did I do? But this, if you're doing this consistently, what are you doing? This is absolutely deplorable activity. Because I have all of this. And she's, like, bragging about it, too. Like, she knows what she's doing. Ugh. You don't have to suck in your stomach. You don't have to wear the most flattering thing. You don't have to get rid of your body hair. You don't have to try and pose to hide parts of yourself and make it. You know, I knew a girl one time and I was like really attracted to this girl and I worked with her. Her name was, I'm not going to say what her name was, but she was very attractive and she was a black girl, but she kind of dressed like she was Pocahontas. Like she had feathers and flowers in her hair, real feathers and real flowers. I don't know where she got them from, but... I mean, I'm not presuming that she, like, went outside and found a pigeon and started plucking out pigeons. Though, I wouldn't put it past her. She was very weird. And I remember one day she was working, and she was doing something I can't remember. But she, like, lifted up her arm, and I saw armpit hair. And for some reason, because I had never, like, really saw that before, I kind of looked at that as, like, a, oh, man, that kind of look a little bit good. I've never really seen a girl before with armpit hair. So I asked her out and I was like, you, can you be my, can you please be my girlfriend? Because I have never had a girlfriend woman like you before ever, one, not even one time. Could you be my girlfriend? And I was like really young and she was like, I don't know, like, you take me on a date, you gotta take me on a date. But she didn't sound like that. She was like, mm, I don't know, mm, you a white boy or whatever. I don't really fuck with white boys and shit, but I guess you're cute or whatever. You could take me to like Orbeez. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take her to Orbeez. And then, um, 
I never took her to Arby's because she sent, like, vagina pictures to a whole bunch of random dudes that she didn't even know. And I thought that was part, like, it was a little bit insensitive because I didn't think that that was cool. So now whenever women say, I don't want to shave, it's fine if you don't want to shave, by the way. Like, go ahead, free will, whatever. But um, you can't deny that there is a presentable factor to being shaven, even for me. Like, look at this. Boom. Boom. And I know that's not exactly what they're talking about. I'm talking about, like, legs and armpit hair and then, like, vagina savagery or whatever. But uh, anyway. Just wanted to bring that up. You don't have to get rid of your body hair. You don't have to try and pose to hide parts of yourself or make yourself smaller. You don't, you don't really have to do anything if I'm going to be honest with you. You could just like live on the street and just like exist, I guess. You could just do all of that if that's what you want to do. But usually there is a reason why people do those things. Like, okay, you lose weight because it makes you healthier, right? You lose weight to make yourself more aerobic, to ensure that you can live past 50. You lose weight so that way you look like a normal human being. Usually, you shave your body hair because women are usually more attractive when they have less body hair. I understand that there might be some implications behind that that deem to other things. I get that. But that's usually like the standard that we go for. But it's fine if you want to be like a Eastern Russian woman and don't want to shave anything. It's fine. I'm sure there are plenty of guys that like suck on pubic hair and like you know floss their teeth with it fine whatever but they, they these things do have reasons for existing like i, I don't know why these people are so they, like, everybody wants to deconstruct everything but never understand the reason why we had these things in, in, in as standards to begin with and it seems like it's very easy for people to just go we don't need this anymore and we should adopt these new norms instead of actually looking back and going wait why did we even have this to begin with? Because a lot of those reasons are pretty important. And it's like whenever I see new companies making, like, for instance, new companies making like streaming services or like apps that you can put videos on, they always go, oh, we're not going to have rules, no TOS, none of that. Right. But then after a few months of having people like, I don't know, hitting on underage girls, people gambling away literally their entire life savings, people flashing dicks out in the middle of the street or whatever. Uh, these companies slowly start to realize why the TOSs were enforced and <laughs> why these companies had the rules that they did. And slowly but surely, they just re reinvent the wheel that they should have just had at the very beginning. But they thought they were cool because they didn't have those rules. It's like that. Like, I understand that you think you're b doing something new or you think you're doing something like, you know, crazy out of the ordinary. But like, I really want to let you know you're not. And you're probably going to end up doing that same shit again. Because there's a reason why these things were in place to begin with. You don't have to use products to get rid of cellulite. They don't work anyway. You don't have That's to true, though. There is, like, nothing you can do about the cellulite. Put makeup on before you go out if you don't want to. You don't have to apologize for... It, this should all just be preference with if you don't want to. If, that, if that's the case. I'm, if I'm going to keep it a buck. You don't have to if you don't want to. That's a fact. I mean, with the exception of, like, maybe wearing clothes... There's really not, like, if you live in the West, there's plenty, there's, like, literally, we're limited, we're not really limited by much here. Your appearance, fuck what everyone else thinks. And yeah, but it's too easy to say fuck what everybody else thinks, given the fact that we live in a society where we are literally being judged by everybody else within the society. And I understand, it's like a very liberating idea to be like, fuck what everybody thinks, I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna do what I want! Like, I get it, I really get it, I do. But, no, like, it's fine to apply yourself to other people, like, you're good at your job because somebody trained you to be good at your job, which makes you valuable to somebody else. Like, I understand that you don't think that it's important to be like, you know, like, oh, yeah, fuck what everybody else thinks. But like, dude, I want to seem like I'm important to the person I'm employed to. I want to seem like I'm important to the person that I'm with. I want to do things to make myself more valuable in the eyes of people around me. Like, who else am I going to compare myself to, dude? Like a fucking aardvark, dude? Like a fucking giraffe that sucks on poles? Like, no, bro, I'm comparing... I'm, I'm doing this stuff for the appealment of other people. Don't get me wrong. You could totally do stuff for yourself. Like, it's great, right? But don't be, like... Don't sit there and say there's, like, no value in appeasing other people. There's a tremendous value in it. Have you never, ha nev have you never had a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Get out in the world. You don't have to do anything. What are you even doing, dude? What is this fucking video, bro? This is cringy as shit. This woman's literally just sitting here in a fucking desk office listening to this this soundbite as she, like, embraces, like... It's just b basic bitch shit. Like, you're not even real. It's, it's really nothing at all going on here. You, this is incredibly sad and depressing. Like, did you really need to go on TikTok and find the soundbite and re record yourself reacting to it this particular way? Did you really need this in your fucking life? Just weird, man to your body to deserve your space there. You already do.
Exactly. This just comes off really cringy. <laughs> it's just really cringy, dude. It's like those videos of those people. Remember during COVID when there was a whole bunch of nurses like recording themselves and they'd be like, oh, oh, my patient died. Oh, oh, oh no, my patient. Hold up, am I still recording? Oh, my patient died. Oh no. Oh, what am I gonna do? It's like that. It just screams that. Like you're doing it performatively to get attention and I get it we're all on the internet I'm looking for attention to talk about my penis and I get it but simultaneously dude it's cringe it's there's a way of doing things to make it less cringe and you're just doing the complete opposite exactly as you are confession I used to agree with you I definitely thought that but being overweight is a choice it's neither a right or wrong choice well I guess it depends on where you're going with your life like if you just want to be fat as fuck perpetually and just like have tons and tons and tons of health problems then sure yeah just be fat that's that's up to you um it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle and some people will judge you for your lifestyle factual statement exactly as you are confession i used to agree with you i definitely thought that being fat was a lifestyle choice just you it is a lifestyle choice what the fuck else could it be it is a lifestyle choice it's also something that's gonna uh, immediately negatively affect your health too as well i'm gonna think about this in the context of another physical trait like tallness and Man, dude, I, I the amount of times I hear these people try to compare being fat to being tall is actually insane. I don't know how the fuck you can say that shit, dude. That is actually like comparing penis to vagina. Like there is like almost nothing you can compare it to. Like I guess they both, they're both like, you know, orifices that are used for reproduction. But like b besides that, there's like, what do you want, dude? Being fat is literally something you can control. And I know these people don't believe that shit because they'll say like, oh no, you can't really control it all the way. You can't control anything all the way. Like, there's literally nothing you can control all the way. So, I don't even understand the point of making that, like, that claim. It's such a fucking dumb point. But, like, being tall, you're just, like, fucked, dude. Like, if you didn't eat enough while you were in your transitional period from puberty, you're fucked. You're not going to hit that pinnacle of whatever tallness that you were. Or maybe your genetics are really, really ass and you have, like, Mexican dudes in your family and you grow to be, like, five foot three. Look, I'm just I'm kind of playing. I've seen a lot of Mexican dudes that are very, very short and a lot of Mexican ladies that are very, very short. And I don't know why it's like that. Can somebody let me know, please? What's going on with that shit? I'm, I'm trying not to be racist here, but I see these people. I'm like, dude, why? Like, don't get me wrong. I've seen a lot of like Mexican dudes that have been tall, but like majority of Mexican dudes that I've met have been like three inches shorter than me most of the time on average. So can somebody please let me know down below what the fuck is going on with that? I promise I'm not racist. And I know tallness seems more immutable than weight, but it is both are genetically set by what by what idea are we go like how the fuck bro okay here's the thing being tallness be your tallness is genetically set and your weight is also genetically set in, in a very basic way like maybe like how much you can fill out like sure like you can your bone structure and what you can stack onto your bone structure but once you hit the pinnacle of your height you can't do anything about that. It's just whatever. If you grew to five foot two, that's you. You're five foot two. If you grew to six foot four, Jesus Christ, by the way, good looking right there. Woo, good job of being six foot four. Call your parents up and say thank you. But once you hit these these pinnacles, it's whatever. It's like that's just you for the rest of your life. If you hit 300 pounds and you think that's just what it is, you're fucking dumb. You can lose weight and you can actually do it quite elegantly as well and it would only benefit you and i understand that like there's a lot of value in thinking that there isn't a way to change your size but i promise it's not the same and the fact that you're drawing that correlation is actually it's actually hilarious and i know tallness seems more immutable than weight but both are genetically set some people are just tall or some people are just short they yeah. didn't make the choice to be that way that's True. just how their body is the proof is definitely all there there's not one scientifically dude you can't say the proof is all there you just gave an example of of height and you didn't even give an example on the other end oh some people are just tall and some people are just short as if that like proves your point in any way what are you fucking talking about so like so just some people are just fat and some people are just skinny what are you fucking talking about dude have you never like actually understood the rules of thermodynamics I, like have you ever not have you ever thought about like eating less and then seeing what that does to you what the fuck are you talking about like so a guy that's like six foot four do you think that he can move that that height no he cannot so like if you're 400 pounds and you can move that you can move that weight how the fuck is that the same thing it's not it's terrible terrible comparison 
proven way to make body and why are you fucking so weird why why are all your clothes and everything in this room so weird dude why are you wearing yellow what is that the proof is definitely all there. There's not one scientifically proven way to make bodies smaller in the long term. The it's called calorie deficit. If you want to lose weight, it's called a calorie deficit. It's called calories in, calories out. Understanding nutrition, which everybody should since like, what are you going to be doing for the majority of your life? Eating, literally. So uh, yeah, it's probably something that most people should come to the understanding of, especially nowadays when we have so many resources and, and places that we can go in order to learn about this stuff. Personally, I think that there should be some nutrition courses in public schools, but of course our public dollar is going towards something else like painting the school eight times in a year. I don't fucking know. But the point I'm making is like, yes, there is like, there is no one study that will confirm that, but simultaneously, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? You don't need a study to realize that you can lose weight through eating less food. It's very possible. Understand where you're at on a daily basis in terms of calories and just lower that and see what happens. Do that for three months and then come back to this video and see how dumb you were vast majority of bodies and even if somebody was choosing to be fat because sure some people choose to be fat so if you could choose to be fat that also means that you must choose to be skinny right that you can't have it both ways so if you just told me that it's not a choice in the same way that height is not a choice and then you just told me that it's a choice what the fuck are you talking about okay fat? why does that mean they don't deserve health care it doesn't mean that they don't deserve health care. It's just like you have to understand that there's going to be more problems. And obviously, your definition of medical fat phobia is going to be different compared to somebody else's. Like, for instance, if you're saying that the doctor told you that you can't get the surgery because you're literally too fat for the scalpel to get through through the layers of fat, or you might actually die in the operation table because we're using things that are going to knock you out and that might actually kill you. So we're not going to be able to do that. So we can't perform the surgery. That's not medical fat phobia. That's just them telling you the truth. Or if you're going in with joint pains and they tell you, yeah, it's probably because of your weight. And I understand that you probably don't think it's because of your weight, but it is most of the time. Um, then you would consider that to be medical fat phobia, but it's not. Like you're, what you're doing is like if you choose to be fat, which literally 99% of people do, then what you're, what you're basically doing is you're stacking on difficulty levels on your life for no reason. Literally. For no other reason than just doing it. And – I get that you find liberation in that, but most people just don't want to have more problems because why would I want to have more problems, dude? My life is already like, you know, pretty difficult. I have to deal with a lot of shit that I don't want to deal with. And why would I want more things stacked on top of that? People choose to be athletes. That wrecks your body. Due to uh, well, that's a crazy ass comparison, dude. Oh, that's a crazy ass comparison. Depends on the athlete, but she's right. Like for instance, Ronnie Coleman, broke his body but he achieved an eight time mr olympia but there are in modern in in our modern world very few times you'll come across an athlete that now don't i'm not saying that this, it doesn't happen but very few times you'll come across an athlete that has immeasurable damage that they can't recover from over a long period of time now there is examples of athletes destroying their bodies of course like at the one i just listed ronnie coleman there are plenty of other people like bodybuilders literally dying in their 40s because of anabolic usage and all that stuff but like sure this does happen. But one thing you got to understand, like if you're an athlete, that means you're doing it professionally, right? To a certain degree, I'm presuming. And if that's the case, that means you're getting paid for it. Um, and don't get me wrong. I understand that like sacrificing years of your life for a little bit of money is not always the most optimal thing. But I like, I like people having the choice in doing that, right? And to compare being fat and then just like going like, oh, yeah, you know, athletes destroy their bodies too. So you're actually telling me that you you acknowledge that being fat is going to destroy your body. Just from that drawing of the line, if you're saying like, oh yeah, af athletes can destroy their body, why can't I? It's crazy that you would even make that comparison given that athletes are doing something very extreme. And I guess you're doing something very extreme, except you're doing it passively and you're not getting anything out of it besides maybe a couple guys on the internet beating off into banana peels. I don't know why you would even try to compare those two things together. It's such a crazy comparison. This whole video is actually a crazy ass comparison anyway. Teenage boys who drive recklessly and get into crashes not deserve health care? Yeah, they do, of course, yeah. They made a lifestyle choice. Yeah. And I gotta say, that's why comments like these don't bother me. Yeah, they obviously bother you if you're making a whole ass fucking response video to it, dude. What are you talking about? I hate when these people say that shit. Well, this obviously doesn't bother me. Dude, you're making a response video to it. It bothers you. Because I agreed with you, and then I learned better. The things we take for common sense aren't common sense at all when you ask. Whenever somebody says common sense isn't common sense, I'm immediately questioning them. That it's such a crazy ass thing to say.
common sense is not a common sense is dumb. It's such a dumb thing. You, you uh, as soon as you say that, you make me think that you're you're dumb. That's what it, that's actually that's what I get. look at the science. It's looking like Fiona, dude. This stigma is real, and telling people to change their bodies so that the system doesn't discriminate against them is a really fucked up thing to do. Look, what's the alternative? It's either I tell you to do nothing and you stay fat and complain about the thing that you're complaining about and demand systemic change, or you change your body to better suit the society that was pre-built before you even existed and you get better and you become healthier and you become more optimized for the society that you're in it kind of seems like it's a better alternative to tell you to do something that's going to actually help you and progress you in society instead of asking society in general to change it which one's more fucked up me telling you that you need to change or me telling the society at large that it needs to change like i'll let you fucking answer that but like it's such a dumb fucking statement dude and if at the end of this you're still saying well I don't think fat discrimination is actually a thing. I do think it's a thing. Uh, people are discriminating against fat people all the time. I do it too. Like when I'm on dating apps and I see fat people, I'm like, no, I don't want to date that person. Too many problems. It's, it's there. And to that, I say, do you want to be treated the way society fe treats fat people? You're, you're like ignoring that. No, I don't want to be treated the way fat people are treated in society. I don't. But like, you're ignoring the fact that majority of those fat people are literally putting themselves in that category to be discriminated against. And I know it's not something you want to hear is the truth in our hearts we all know that it's discrimination sure. we can't change it till we admit that that's there for all of us and if this is something you're hearing please know that this is a statement of lack of education information is out there and this that's such a crazy ass thing to say is like information is out there but she's just purposely not she's choosing not to go to the information that will actually benefit her instead she's like sitting here trying to tell us these very niche topics that she's like grasped onto because these are her talking points. Like she doesn't actually know anything. She just, she just knows what she knows and that's it. And I guess you could say that about anybody, but obviously there has to be a little bit more nuance to this. Like she's literally saying it's black or white. It's obviously not. This has thoroughly been debunked. And even if it was, you still deserve respect. It, okay, sure. It just depends on what you mean by deserve. Like nobody deserves respect because they, like it's a privilege to have somebody respect you that you don't know. It is. It's a privilege because that person obviously doesn't know who you are or like what you bring to the table or like what you contribute to society or anything about you at all. So like when you're out in public and somebody treats you nicely, that's a fucking privilege. I would never take that for granted. And to think that like you just deserve that default is crazy, dude. Like people are going to treat you badly. What do you think about that? Like, do you just think that those, those are like really terrible, disgusting, obviously bad people? I would always err on the side of like try to be as nice as humanly possible because you never know what opportunities you might get from being nicer and it's always better to be nicer than not nice but some people it's like fuck you i don't even know who you are dude what are you talking about leave me alone some of you guys make dude i gotta keep it a buck okay i gotta keep it a buck with you dude fucking marissa matthews looking like benjamin franklin i don't know what the fuck is going on right now with marissa matthews dude i've looked at some of her most recent videos bro fucking very benjamin franklin-esque am i wrong can somebody please let me know what's going on with our founding father bro what the hell is happening absolutely no fucking sense at all why would i have for consideration for other people when fat people are not considered in our society it's just like it's very interesting when I hear people scream systemic discrimination and somehow thinking that the individual has something to do with that. Like, if I'm, if let's just say hypothetically that black people are being mistreated, which maybe they are, right? Depending on where you're looking. Let's say hypothetically, black people are being mistreated against society and society consists of majority white people. Do you think that that black person should just meet white people on the street and just go, I fucking hate white people. White people are gross, disgusting. No, that's fucking dumb. So if your idea of the reason why you act the way that you do towards people, individuals on the internet or people in general, like, which is obviously mean, condescending and bad, your reason for doing that is because you're mistreated by society. That's a very bad reason. And that just tells me everything i need to know about the way that you're processing this information it's terrible that doesn't make any sense at fucking all that's that's like somebody getting robbed that's like somebody having a house a home invasion and the guy that did it was black and then for the rest of your life you just think all black people did home invasions that's fucking terrible no that's not the case why would i have consideration for somebody else's eyes when they have the ability to not look at my chest what the fuck are you talking about dude they have the ability to not look at your chest so you're telling so have you like never accidentally looked at another woman's boobs or another woman's butt or like, I don't know, the phallus shape, the dick print of another guy? You had the ability to not look at that. I don't know. Have you like never watched porn? 
Have you never watched... All right, Marissa, dude. I don't know what's up with this projection right now. I don't understand. Like, you obviously don't even fucking believe this shit. If somebody looks at your chest for, like, a second, what are you doing? Like, you're just gonna go up to them and be like, Fuck you! You're fucking gross! You're so nasty! Sometimes it happens. I don't know if I can tell you, dude. Like, you're walking down the street and a girl turns around. Oh, boobs. Oh, wow. Sorry. Didn't see... I didn't see your face. I'm sorry. Sometimes, like, you just see it. I don't know. Sometimes I see dick, too. I'm not gonna play with you, dude. There have been some times where a dude turned the corner. I saw some print. I was like, damn! Same thing with some ass, bro. I don't know how many dudes I've seen in this year alone uh, that are just really stacked up. I cannot believe it. The other day, I was out downtown, and there was a guy with this uh, with his girlfriend. And he turned the corner, and I swear to God, he was more cheeked up than her. It was insane, bro. He had so much. Like, from the back, you couldn't see it. But when he turned, it was like this. Like, from the back, it just kind of looked flat. But when he turned, it thing went, woo! It was out. It was so thick. And he was a very skinny guy, but he had so much butt cheeks, bro. It was crazy, bro. And all, like, I thought was, like, is this guy getting pegged? Like, you can't not if, if you have, like, a look. It's fine if you're a guy and you have big butt cheeks and you don't want to be pegged. But sometimes I'm thinking, like, this is missed potential, right? You got to be getting that shit eaten up a little bit or something, dude. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I would never do that. My butt cheeks are, like, less than satisfactory, as you can see. I don't really have a lot. But, you know, the point I'm making is that if you have big butt cheeks, why not use them? I mean, it is what it is. But do whatever you want. It's your body. Why? Benjamin Franklin, am I right, dude? Why would I have consideration for other people about something that has to do with my body? Well, that doesn't even make any sense. What the fuck are you talking about? Consideration for people when it has to do with your body? What? Can you imagine your doctor going like, yeah, uh, you got a fucking, you got a cancer. And you go, what the fuck are you talking about? Ew, I'm not having any consideration for what you just said. Why would I have consideration about something that doesn't affect other people when it is affecting me? What the fuck is Marissa talking about? Dude, this is why I love Marissa so much, dude. Like, she makes nonsensical arguments, and then when people point out that they're nonsensical, she just blocks them or deletes them, which is one of the reasons why her engagement is so fucking low now compared to what it was, like, last year. Because she's, like, hyper fixated on people saying that she's wrong, so she just can't handle that. But this is one of the reasons why I love this platform. Is like, I can easily just debunk everything here that Thomas Jefferson is saying because... It's very easy, and she can't do anything about it, so. Like, what? I don't owe anyone anything. True. I don't owe anyone consideration when it comes to my body and how I dress it. True. And you, you can wear whatever you want, Marissa, but that's not even what we're fucking talking about. What I do with it. The fact that you think that I need to go out of my way to be considerate, this is not considerate. You're, what you're asking for is entitlement. Okay. You are asking for an entitled response from me, and I don't owe you that. It's my body, and I can do whatever I want with it, including wearing a bra or not. Okay, Marissa, do whatever you want, bro. Hashtag Slay Queen Edges. Man, man, can somebody please let me know if I'm wrong, dude? <sighs> Straight up fucking Jefferson, right? Am I wrong? Thank okay, so one of my mutuals alerted to me to something odd that they saw on Lane Bryant's website, and I want to show you guys what it is, because why? <laughs> So let's scroll through this website okay. and see if you notice anything odd. Anything that jumps out at you. A lot of big women on this website, dude. God damn, bro. What website is this, dude? Damn, bro. That shit's expensive, too. God damn, this shit's expensive. $30? What is this? Is this just lingerie? I never really understood lingerie. I never got it, man. I just, like, just be naked, I guess. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I remember I was dating this one girl. She was like, oh. So, like, what do you want me to wear? And I was like, naked? Like, what do you fucking mean? What do I want you to wear? Like, fucking nothing? Like, I, what are you talking about? Sex, right? Like, obviously fucking nothing. And she was like, oh, I know. But, like, you don't want me to put on something spicy? And I was like, hot sauce? Like, what are you talking about, man? What, no, I naked is good. She was like, I got, I got some lingerie from Victoria's Secret in the cart. Like, I could buy it. It'll be here in two days. And I was like, oh, how much? And she was like, it's like $60, $70. And I was like, nah. I, that's fine. It's cool, bro. It's like I don't, I don't need that. I don't. Why? No, I'm good. I'm good. If you're buying it for me, I promise I don't need that shit. Just, I'll never need any of that. Just be naked is good. That's. I don't understand. Like, why would I want anything on top of whatever? You don't realize that I'm a dude. Like, do you think most dudes are sitting there going like, "Oh man, when my when me and my girl have sex, I wish she was dressing up, 
more promiscuously. What the fuck are you talking? The end goal is literally naked. I don't want, like for me, I'm trying to get to it as fast as I can. Like I rush a lot. So I don't know, man. Maybe it's, maybe I'm just weird, but it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? But anyway, no, I don't see anything weird besides like obviously the big women that don't know how to apply makeup. In the body. That, that woman, that black woman looked like she was pregnant. Notice anything though. odd. Anything yeah, she's that not pregnant a little bit, she kind of got that baby baby belly a little bit. Jumps out at you in the bodysuit section. No. Did you see it? Did no. you notice which one I was talking about? No. If you didn't, it was this one. Ah, uh, she's got bad reviews, bro. I mean, that's not two reviews, I guess. Damn, seventy dollars, dude. What? Oh, thirty dollars, might be. Look at how odd this looks. This. The woman. The woman is odd? What are we talking about? This has to be photoshopped, right? And obviously this has nothing to do with the model because I'm sure they don't get to see anything until it's up on the website. But the way they must have photoshopped her stomach is so odd because it just looks lifeless <laughs> and like one color. There's no dimension. It just looks like flat and fake. Yeah. I'm honestly still confused as to why. But, like, why does it matter? Like, there have been a few times where I was, like, on the Amazon listing of something, and I was like, oh, I really need to buy. Like, I remember one time I was on, um, I was trying to buy, back in the day, right, uh, for, like, controllers, right? Back in the day on PS4, people used to do the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, like, I still use them, um, on their controllers so they could talk through the controller or whatever, right? And I remember one time I was on this review and the pictures was looking really fucked up. And I remember this especially because one of the reviews was hilarious. But the picture was really weird. It was like a guy. And I shit you not. Like the controller was in front of him. It was like a normal sized guy. But his arms were like four times longer than the rest of his body. But you couldn't see his head. So his arms were like really fucking long and big. And it was weird. But I remember like looking in the comment section for these like headphones. And there was a guy going like, yo, don't buy these because they're not long enough. And they're only six feet and six feet's not long enough for, for this thing. And I'm just thinking like, bro, you're plugging this shit into your fucking controller. Like, is six feet really not fucking, what do you got, like giant giraffe fucking arms, bro? Like, how far, what do you have your fucking arms at the fucking window? The what? Six feet is like a whole human being, bro. How much, how much fucking space you, this is like, bro, this is like two feet. This is like two feet I got here. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching this, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Six feet's not good enough for you, bro? How fucking far you need your arms in front of you, dude? How long are your arms? That shit had me rolling, bro. I, I remember literally reading that review, and I was like, this, what is this guy talking about? What, can I get a picture of your arms? What the fuck? But, uh, yeah, anyway, sometimes the Amazon reviews are a little bit fucking weird, bro. Sometimes you see the fucking picture and you're like, what the fuck is that? Like, sometimes people will be really happy for no reason. Like, I remember one time I, I, I saw a fucking, um, it was a, an air mattress, right? Like, I remember I was working at this establishment one time and a woman came up to me with an air mattress she was buying. And I remember, like, I checked it out, but she was, like, looking for a card or whatever. And I was, like, looking at the guy in the box. And I was, like, bro, why the fuck is this guy so goddamn happy while he's laying down? Like, he's just sitting there on the air mattress. I'm just thinking, like, what? who is this happy before they go to bed, bro? What are you talking? It's a fucking air mattress, bro. Have you ever slept on an air mattress? I did. Like, when I moved, right? When I was homeless and I moved into my house, uh, dude, I slept on an air mattress for, like, two months before I bought an, a, an actual, like, bed. It was tough. It was bad, dude. It was not something I recommend. It was it's terrible. But the point I'm making is I didn't fucking fall asleep on an air mattress. Like, I didn't do that. So, I don't know. Like, it pissed me the fuck off thinking about, like, this guy was so fucking happy about sleeping on this goddamn air mattress as if it was, like, the best bed you could possibly fucking get. Go to fucking sleepies, bro. Plus size retailers are using either the thinnest possible woman that they can as a What do you want exactly, bro? You want some respucia looking ass bitch? Like, what do you want? Like, how big do they gotta be? Model or still photoshopping photos when fat people want to know what it actually looks like on a fat body. I really wish I didn't spend cool. so much time hating myself in my youth. Because honestly, you really don't realize how much older you feel the second you hit like 33. I'm Can somebody let me know about that, dude? I'm creeping up on that 33 mark, dude. And like, I don't really feel it. Like, I remember when I was like 20, I was like, man, I don't want to be 30, dude. Being 30 is gay. That means you're old. That means that you're going to die. And now that I'm like creeping up on 30, I'm like, I'm kind of embracing it. Like, I'm like, oh, yeah, fucking sounds great, dude. Like, that sounds awesome, dude. As I get older, I just become more and more like, 
I'm okay. Like, I, I don't know, dude. I have, like, almost no problems. Like, I feel like I'm like my thumb, I can't bend it anymore. Like, I can't bend this joint down anymore to the same degree that I used to be able to. But I can still do this one pretty well. But the point of, but I think this is, like, an issue with me. Because, like, I'm double jointed in my thumb. And I can always do this. But, like, I don't know. Maybe that's just my problem. I don't know what the fuck it is. But the point I'm making is, like, my penis still gets hard. And, like, I don't think it's ever going to not get hard. Because, like, I'm so big meat. It does take a little bit of time. I got to, like, pre-order the blood to go to my penis. Because I have so much penis capacity. But... I guess that's it. But, because somebody let me know, like, am I going to turn 33 and just have, like, a midlife, I guess, like, a mid, I don't know, a mid-20% life crisis? Can somebody let me know, please? Not necessarily even talking emotionally, but, like, physically. It starts to happen so much sooner than I realize. I just kind of feel like if, look, I don't know because I haven't hit 33, but, and maybe somebody can tell me down below, but I have people that I know that are in their 30s, and they tell me they feel great. And I kind of feel like if you're hitting 33 and you feel like shit perpetually because you hit that one year, I just kind of think that you fucked up in your 20s and you were probably doing things that you probably shouldn't be doing, like eating tons of food, like doing the, you know, eating bad, unnutritious foods, terrible, disgusting activities, right? Like gangbangs, quadruple bypass, BBC parties. I don't fucking know. The point of it is like, you are abusing your body. And of course, like, your body has a durability amount, right? You're not going to be able to continuously do tons and tons of crazy shit and just expect your body to bounce back. Like, obviously, it's going to take a toll. So, when I hear people say this shit, I can't, obviously, I'm not 33, but somebody can let me know. Um, I'm pretty sure that when you hit 33, people still feel relatively okay and good. Like, 33 is not even actually old at all. That's like, still really young so i mean hey dude i mean if you're feeling like shit 33 probably because you were doing something fucking wrong before that point i mean maybe it's probably something to do with the fucking weight maybe you should probably do something about it now because maybe you'll feel better if you did something about it and i wish i spent so much less time worrying about things like going to the beach or taking my sweater off what the, the fuck are we talking about dude what you feel like shit in your 30s physically and you're talking about you feel like it's because you weren't able to take off your sweater or because you didn't go to the beach have you ever been to the beach? It's gross. It's fucking nasty, dude. Like, putting your feet on the sand and the rocks and seeing all of the disgusting children running through the, the sands like they don't give a fuck about themselves and the parents just sitting on the beach doing nothing. It's fucking nasty, okay? I was at the beach the other day. It was gross, okay? Like, I don't know, man. Maybe I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. I'm just sitting out there in the sun perpetually sweating. It's 95 degrees out. I don't know, dude. Like, I personally have... I don't know what the appeal of it is, dude. What is the appeal of going to the beach? It's depressing. It, I don't know, whatever, I don't know. The things about being hyper-visible that held me back in my life. Because now, I'm 36, I'm going on 37, and there are just things that I just don't feel like I can do anymore. That like what? Like fucking what? What are you talking about? Like... It, this is not something I would I would expect a 36, 37 year old to say. I mean, it would be something I'd expect like somebody in their 50s or 60s to say like, oh, yeah, the things I could do in my 20s, I can't do anymore. Like, I guess rollerblading. But even then, you probably I don't even know what you would even say on that. But like, I can see I can see it on those levels because it makes sense a little bit. But what do you, what can you not do in your mid 20s that you can't do in your mid 30s? That's like 10 years, bro. What the how fucked up of you? Whatever, bro. It's not necessarily even by choice. It's just my body just doesn't do things anymore. You 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 decide that though. Like you, <laughs> what the fuck? Your body doesn't do things anymore. Why would you say it like that? What the fuck? Damn man, that's crazy. That's a crazy statement. What, dude? You you're in charge of your body. You know that right? Like you can do stuff that it doesn't want to do. I, all right, man. I'm sorry, bro. I just kind of whatever, bro. Maybe she's got some kind of condition. I don't fucking know, dude. That's just such a weird way of saying that. I just came. I'm sorry. Like it didn't hit me right away, but then I I felt it, and I was like, what the fuck? Like that shit had AOE, bro. Like I didn't immediately feel it, but then the aftershock like hit me. I'm just like, what the fuck is that? Do anymore? That's not necessarily even by choice. It's just my body just doesn't do things anymore. Or if it does, <laughs> that is fuck. <laughs> God damn. Oh man, you really out of fucking shape to sit there and say that statement dude god damn there's a certain level of planning that i was not accustomed to as a 20 year old and if you're watching this as a 20 something and you're still kind of struggling with your body image issues please listen to me hear me out do it i promise you you will care more about the fact that you didn't do it bro than you're fucking 30 you're not like you're 70 and then you, you want to go skydiving what are you talking about you're 30 this shouldn't be like a, oh man when you hit 30 it's over i can't walk anymore what are you talking about what can you not do? Please give me an example. What are you, 
What is the example? What can you not do at 36 that you can't do at 26? What the fuck? Are you fat? What are we talking about? What is it? What is it, bro? What can you not do? How fat did you get? Damn, man. Maybe the fact that someone said something to you. Those people will literally never matter when it comes to looking back and regretting versus looking back and thinking, I'm actually kind of happy that I did that thing. But yeah, I really, really wish I spent way less time worrying about what other people were going to say about my physical appearance because there's so much that I wish that I just took the plunge and did. You should be concerned more about how somebody says something about that makeup, bro. That makeup ain't it, dude. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, dude. It looks like you did, you forgot to put some sunblock on the top half, dude. That shit is bad. And by the way, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. I hate when people say, like, I'm embracing the gray. I'm embracing the gray. And then the next video, you see that they dyed their hair. You didn't give a... You know, stop fucking lying, dude. Because I've, I've seen this girl before, and she's graying at 36, which is fine, by the way. Go ahead and gray, but... It's just interesting when I hear people go like, I'm embracing it. Cause that's what she said. She's like, I really love my gray hair. Like I'm embracing it. I'm not going to dye it. Right. And then like a month later, I check on her videos and she's dyed it. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Fucking bitch. Dude, you fucking liar. Fucking liar, dude. Just tell me it's all right if you want to dye your hair, but why the fuck are you being inconsistent, dude? You know, I can go back and watch that video. Right. You know, I can see that you, you said you didn't want to dye your hair. And then I seen that you dye your hair. Right. Okay. Whatever, dude. Anyway, guys, we're getting the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Uh, I, I, that Any of that stuff would help me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do any stuff for me, I'd appreciate you. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in trap because I got to tell you something. You are a thirst trap, a beyond thirst trap. Sometimes I'll look at you and I go, this is too delectable for my eyes not to glaze. I need to look upon you on a daily basis because you're so goddamn beautiful so majestic god wow golly you are looking delectability today spicy lubrication you're just the epitome of good looking human being good job on maintaining all of that all of that wow Ooh, hubba hubba anyway we're gonna end the video here uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord. Check out any of that stuff. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace!